What's up, Fight Dialogue fans? Aldrich Gordon back here with another interview. I have Keith Krikorian. Um, he is actually competing on Submission Underground this weekend. What's up, Keith? How you doing? So pretty good. Thanks, man. And not a problem, man. So um, you got a big match coming up with uh, t- uh, Submission Underground. You're coming out of Tent Planet. Uh, talk to me about this. Um, this is your debut, to be honest, right? Uh, yeah, for, for Sug, yeah. All right. Uh, tell me about this experience. What's this like for you? Oh, super cool. Um, I'm like a huge fan of Sug and and of uh, Chel Sonnen and um, even of my opponent. Um, so it's like a pretty pretty cool opportunity. Um, I'm I'm pretty stoked. That's good, man. Uh, Kevin T compete this week. Um, so what uh you plan on bringing it to the table against your opponent? Um, I mean, I've watched him for a super long time, and like the sense that I've gotten is that like he's really really good on the feet. He's um, pretty, like, crafty um, with, like, uh, like jumping submissions and, uh, like, ankle picks and, um, you know, like, uh, like a, lot of, a lot of good, like, unorthodox wrestling and then um, unorthodox, like, flying submissions. Um, and, uh, and I think that I bring more of, like, a submission uh, game to the table, you know? I, I mean, he, he submits people all the time, but, like, I don't think that's, like, one of his strong suits, you know, so a strong uh, submission game is, is probably the best thing to combat that with, you know, so that's kind of what I'm going for. All right, cool. Um, can we see that uh, match is going to be intriguing? Um, you know, I was actually doing some uh, homework on you the other, uh, last night, and I saw you competed. You competed uh, a lot, you know, you competed a lot of uh, the finishers tournaments and um, all that. How did you get started up in jiu-jitsu and everything? Like, I started out in martial arts when I was pretty young. I was... Uh, it was probably like 10 maybe 9 10 um it was like fifth grade so i don't know how old you are in fifth grade <laughs> um but however, however old i was um i started out boxing um because uh my neighbor actually started boxing and i thought that was like pretty unusual and cool and uh i didn't i wasn't crazy about like you know ball based sports so um i thought it'd be i thought it'd be cool you know change of pace it was like way harder (laughs) than like anything i'd ever done and i really liked that um and then i did that until i was about 16 um and then along the way i was probably like 14 when i started like like uh like grappling like i'd seen it at the gym and stuff um but i never never wanted to do it and you know boxing was so fun um but then uh someone one of my coaches got me into um got me into not into a gi but onto the mats basically we did i was just in like a t-shirt and stuff but he showed me some stuff and then mm. then uh i really really liked it it was like a really cool feeling um using your, your body to kind of like uh um control someone else you know which is you know not really what boxing is boxing's like kind of like moving with someone and, and like going more tit for tat like grappling was like well this guy's like actually you know uh physically like pinning me and controlling me and and like making me feel like a like a baby so uh, i thought that was really cool Mm. and then uh you know i started uh it was like around the same time that i started wrestling in high school and uh then i just kind of like switched focus from doing like striking to uh to doing um just all grappling so i was i was uh wrestling and doing jujitsu um kind of at the same time and then um just kind of went on from there all right, man. It's pretty dope. And I see, like I said, you're under the tent planning system, so I know that you're out west. So you learned under um, my good friend Boogie. I was out there three weeks ago, actually. So uh, oh, so they... shit. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it was a very dope experience. And um, yeah, I've been training myself for two years. So uh, what's well, like, you know, having Boogie as an instructor along with others? Dude, it's it's awesome. Like, Boogie's the man. Like, he's given me so much. He's... um nothing more than like a like a um teacher you know um but like man he's like everything to me dude he's just like he's a he's a friend he's a mentor he's a role model he's a um he's a coach dude the the biggest thing that i love about boogie um outside of just being like you know awesome at jujitsu and like a really cool guy is like he just treats everyone with like a lot of respect and like a lot of like passion and air compassion and like caring and um that's like man that's just something that like you don't see from a whole lot of people you know there's there's obviously 
a lot of people in jiu-jitsu like that, but like he, he is just a, he is just a really, really special um, dude in that way, you know? And, and I feel like that's like the big, the coolest thing, the biggest thing that I can like take away from, from, from training under boogie outside of like the jiu-jitsu aspect is just like be cool to everyone and, and treat them like family. And um, I think, yeah, man, that's the co- coolest part about training under boogie. That's dope, man. And uh, I see that, you know, you are the head instructor at uh, 10 Planet Fullerton, one of them. Um, taking from that, what you learned from Boogie in and outside, how have you applied it to your students as well? Uh, yeah, so I'm not the head instructor. I, I just teach up there every, mm-hmm. every now and then. But, uh, but I, so I went up to school. I went to college in Fullerton. Um, mm-hmm. So it was like, it was right by my school and it was, it was pretty, pretty sweet to, uh, um, to have a, like a 10 Planet right next to um like my college which I, I didn't like oh it's not like i planned it that way i just happened to go to school up there and then there happened to be a, a gym nearby so so it's pretty rad but but yeah as far as like um uh, as far as uh taking what boogies taught me and and um using that in teaching like i think the biggest thing is like um boogie he he teaches with a lot of passion and like he te- he teaches um he teaches pretty much like 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 uh, like every class is like a, a seminar you know um mm-hmm. like he's like he makes everyone feel like like really homey and he you know he, he goes like into great detail um and he just like i said you know he just he doesn't make anyone feel like they're out of place or, or not comfortable you know he really like goes out of his way to to um mm-hmm. you know to make sure that everyone feels at home and and I mean, the biggest thing that big, one of the other big things that he does is like he always, um, he always goes around and like makes sure that everyone has the the technique down and stuff. Like he's walking around, going to every single person, and uh, you know that's not something that all instructors do. And I think that's like really one of the really cool things that he does that I try to like, I try mm-hmm. to do also, you know. Um, and uh, yeah, so I mean, there's a lot a lot of little things that he's that he's kind of handed down to me, but that's probably the biggest one. Yeah, I totally relate with that. When I was there, uh, he made sure like uh, everyone was welcomed. He also checked on him and checked the technique down pack. So, you know, uh, it was a great environment. I definitely can't wait to come back out and visit you guys for sure. Yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome, man. Yeah, I I, I was here. I, I was a little, I think I was like not uh, rolling at the time because so I was a little injured. But next time you come down, I'd love to get some training in. Oh, for sure, my brother. And uh, speaking of you being active, I know these past weekends you've been busy. You were competing at uh, Sin City Submission, and you won your whole entire division. Congratulations on that. Um, how was that experience? And you were next to your uh, one of your other teammates, PJ Barch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was really rad. Um, yeah, it was cool to to go out there and PJ. PJ and I have done a few tournaments together. Um, um, and uh, like we usually, I mean, it's it's really cool to like have someone to to motivate you through a tournament like that, you know? Um, and, uh, yeah, the, the experience was cool. It was, you know, um, like I said, it's just always fun to like, you know, go out with your teammates and like, you know, watch each other do well. And, um, that's, you know, it's just like, there's nothing better, you know, it's, it takes you back to wrestling, you know? Um, so it's, it was really cool. It was really rad. That's dope, man. And then this past weekend you competed down in Florida and you became the uh, 205 champion, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's cool. I, I man, I like going with big guys. Like I, I think like the as like a smaller dude, you know, the like biggest um, testament to uh, how good your or how effective your jujitsu is is can you use it on a bigger guy, you know, or uh, or someone who outweighs you by however much. Um, and yeah, like, I don't know. I just I I like I just love that. You know, it's not to say that like. I could like beat this person up on the streets or anything, but like if my jujitsu is at least good enough, then then I think that like you know just speaks to the to the art you know or whatever and uh, and like what jujitsu is supposed to be. Um, and yeah, I just that's just like one of my favorite things to do is go against big guys. <laughs> I I seen I actually saw a video you and uh Kyle um Baum uh, went against each other. There. I was like I looked yeah. at the huge size difference. I'm like yikes. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was yeah that was. Uh, we've gone against each other a few times actually um and uh yeah he's he's pretty big <laughs> from when you started to where you are now what have you seen is the biggest thing that's elevated you i feel like uh technically um i've added like a lot of things to my my game over the year 
years. Um, I used to kind of just be like, just just a wrestler, um, like you know, with a few chokes and stuff. Um, and then I started to add like a you know a lot of guard components in my game, um, uh, leg locks and uh, you know stuff like that that I, I wasn't really too comfortable with before. Um, and uh, now you know I feel like I feel pretty good about it. Um, obviously, like I always have so much to learn. Like I I still feel like my game has a lot, like a long way to go before I actually feel feel you know decent but um but yeah i mean just like consistent training like a lot of mat time um you know try not to take too many breaks you know i'm obviously if you're injured if i'm injured and yeah i gotta take breaks and stuff but like for the most part if i'm just you know if i'm healthy and i and i feel good there's no reason i shouldn't be in the gym every day you know at least a few times or at least you know once like training and uh and trying to get better um Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's made, made pretty easy at a gym like 10 Planet San Diego where they have so many, you know, class times and stuff. But, yeah, other than that, man, um, you know, before I let you go, I know you got a um, pretty busy day and week. Um, you want to uh, say yeah. anything or uh, give a shout-out to anybody? Oh, no, man, thanks for having me on. I like, uh, I like people who, like, are interested in the sport and cover the sport, and, yeah, I think that's rad. Um, next time you're, you're down, for sure, hit me up, and we'll, uh, we'll get some training. We'll get – some burritos or something. Uh, where are you from, by the way? Oh, uh, Pennsylvania. I've been uh, training over okay. here at um in at Henzo Gracie. But uh, me and Boogie, because I had him on the show actually, and um that's how me and him became good friends. So I came up there yeah. and everything like that. And I was uh I really liked, I really enjoyed myself. And I loved it out there. So looking forward awesome. to come back soon. Oh, dude, please do. Um, yeah, dude. Like like I said, like uh, it's such an. I mean, I don't know. I actually don't know if I mentioned this, but like San Diego is such a cool place to train um and uh yeah definitely definitely next time you're down let's let's get some work i I mean man like uh pennsylvania i actually have a lot of like a few friends over there i don't know if um uh you know uh, all the 10th planet bethlehem guys like zach and and jm and and thor yeah i actually am competing in um november 14th at the finishers in fredericks so this is my first mbi tournament i'm competing in Oh, nice! Yeah, yeah, that one's cool. The, the finishers uh, is a really good term. They do a really good job with that. You'll, you'll, you'll have a good time. All right, thank you, man. I'm nervous because it's my first time. It's my second overall competition, but um, you know, I'm <laughs> definitely looking forward. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, make sure you're training the EBI overtimes, and you'll be set. But that's awesome, man. That's super cool. Man, I appreciate that. Uh, let the people know where they can find you at. By the way. Um, yeah, just, uh, you know, uh, Instagram is just my full name, Keith Krikorian. And, um, uh, I have a few like DVDs on sale if people want to find that. Um, some you can just get straight through me and then some you go through BJJ Fanatics. Um, so check those out too. All right. Hey man, thank you again, once again for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Keith Krikorian. Check him out this weekend at Submission Underground.